Every year, more than 7 million children die before reaching their fifth birthday, most of them in developing countries. Among the most common causes are respiratory infections, diarrhea, neonatal problems, malaria and malnutrition. 70% of these deaths could be prevented through adequate diagnosis and treatment. Yet developing countries often face shortages in skilled health workers and insufficient quality of care. Well, globally, the issues vary from country to country. Uh, you have countries where simply you don't have enough health workers. You even don't have enough people who have sufficient basic education, meaning literacy, that can do the job. Uh, in other countries, a big issue is that you have sufficient health workers, but they're all concentrated in the major cities and uh, in the rural areas where people live, they don't have services at all. To reduce child mortality, the World Health Organization and UNICEF developed the Integrated Management of Childhood Illness, or IMCI. IMCI helps health workers diagnose and treat children in a more comprehensive way by following a simple question-answer approach. <laughs> Upakati mwingine hata pasipo daktari anaweza kutibu ni kwamba tunapunguza vifo vya watoto kwa miaka mitano kwa kutumia matibabu haya rahisi kwa kuuliza maswali. Kwa hiyo inakuwa rahisi kwa mtu kwa mtu mtoa huduma kuweza ku, kumtibu mtoto akiwa na akiwa na dalili kwa njia ya maswali. To date more than 100 countries have adopted IMCI and the results are very positive. However, some challenges remain. First, every country must periodically adapt the IMCI guidelines to local circumstances. Second, hundreds of thousands of health workers need to be trained and retrained in IMCI. Both tasks require significant financial and human resources. To tackle these challenges, the World Health Organization, with support from the Navartis Foundation for Sustainable Development, developed a software program called ICAT, IMCI Computerized Adaptation and Training Tool. ICAT helps governments adapt global IMCI guidelines to national or local circumstances. Through a user-friendly interface, the training modules can be translated into local languages, the content can be adapted, and videos, pictures, and exercises can be added. The finalized training modules can then be transferred to DVDs, USB devices, or internet browsers. Once the adaptation has been finalized, the ICAT training players can be distributed countrywide for pre-service training in school and in-service training. Trainees can learn independently at their own pace. They are guided by interactive modules with videos and exercises that facilitate understanding of the content. Students will have a tool that allows them to learn either independently, self-directed on these topics, or they can also be taught using these tools in a classroom setting. So there is also possibility to have a blended learning approach. Okay. Uh, multimedia in ICAD. That means you have the videos, you have the pictures, but also you have the content itself, which really motivates students to learn uh, in an interactive way. So with our students here, what we have noted is that they are more prepared when we use iCAD to provide the services to sick children. Most of the students like iCAD. I would say more than 90% of the students I've, I've, I've been involved with they do really like ICAT, yeah, to the extent that most of them would wish that many other subjects could have been in such a form that IMSI has been put in. Given the positive experience with ICAT, the Novartis Foundation, the World Health Organization, and the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute decided to work together to develop a similar e-learning tool for maternal and newborn health. 
every day 1,500 mothers and up to 10,000 newborn babies die due to complications during pregnancy and childbirth. The tool will be called IMPACT, Integrated Management of Pregnancy and Childbirth Training Tool, and will comprise modules on pregnancy care, childbirth, newborn care, and postnatal care. The muscles are very weak. We have seen now that uh, our graduates are managing uh, sick children much better, and in fact they are reporting to us that uh, we are grateful that we learned about ICAT. In fact, some are even being employed in other places because they feel that they are better prepared, especially in managing children. So we feel very proud in using or training our students with ICAD. Information and communication technology has enormous potential. E-learning programs such as ICAT and IMPACT can help scale up the skilled health workforce and ultimately reduce maternal and child mortality. Nonetheless, challenges remain, such as lack of access to computers and computer illiteracy. To address such challenges and ultimately reach the Millennium Development Goals, all stakeholders must contribute, including governments, international organizations, NGOs and the private sector.